Hey, it's me. You know me. But this is my buddy Wes over here. Hello! He is a professional Tarzan cosplayer and also Correct. has no idea what Pokemon is. He's never <laughs> seen a single one. That's not true. Uh, tell them how much of Pokemon you do know. Um, the three starting Pokemon? That's how many Pokemon I know. <laughs> So, we've been working on a Fakemon region over the past many months, which are like, it's basically like a fan, fan concepts of like, hey, okay. these are some Pokemon ideas that I have that would make cool Pokemon, but Pokemon they're unofficial. fanfic. Basically. I love it. Okay. I'm going to show you several images, and you're going to tell me if you think it is a real official Pokemon, okay. or if it is one of the fake ones that I've come up with and commissioned an artist to do. Okay. So this first one, this is... <laughs> oh no! Uh, this is Kaskazog. The uh, Kasa Obaka Yokai is that like umbrella hopping around one? Um, no, actually, I don't oh, know what that is. Okay, well, um, it's, it's a little Japanese monster. It's also a frog. Okay, based off of that information, I'm going to say yes, this is an official Pokemon. Okay. Uh, it's not. <laughs> okay. It's actually the evolution of little Tofrog over here that, oh, we, got, that okay. we got a plush of. So here's the next one. No. Well, okay, yeah, right. <laughs> that was okay. Didn't even get to explain it. Yeah. But yeah, you were correct. So you are now one for one. How about this one? This is Scrafty. Oh no. He's a crafty little lizard, and he wears his shitted skin. Okay, I was gonna ask if he's holding on to baggy pants. Or yeah, if he's... the baggy pants are like his shredded skin that he has before because he's like a hoodlum. Oh. Lives in the streets. I was gonna say also no. Scrafty is real. <laughs> okay. This is Weirdeer. It's a very weird deer. Oh man. I know there's also it's got the, a big Santa beard. I know there's also actually, apart from the three starting Pokemon, there's also Echnus. 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 Who is basically Snake. So yes, he's a real Pokemon. Echnus. Weird deer? No, weird deer. Weird deer is Deer's real him? because Echnus is real? Well, the names. The names. Okay. Uh, this is indeed a real Pokemon. It's one of the most recent so ones there was revealed, so actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This? Oh man. It's so cute. This is Lompus. Um, it's a little, it's one of the grass starters. It's a little llama that is also part pompous grass, if you know what that is. It's that like puffy cattail kind of grass. He seems like too cute to be one of the new Pokemon. All the new Pokemon I see are like trash cans or... <laughs> That's ice cream and yeah, gears. that's the only thing I can think of. Um, so I'm gonna say he's not real because he's too cute. That is correct. <laughs> okay. This is Mel Metal. Oh my gosh. It's like mercury and a bunch of nuts and bolts. I'm gonna be mad if this is real. Um, so I'm gonna say he's not real. Mel Metal is real. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Mel Metal was actually introduced in Pokemon Go. <clears throat> it's like a special, unique kind of thing. So he's recent. Extremely recent, yes. Okay, okay. Well, a whole generation ago. Pokemon okay, generations okay, have been speeding yes, up. Okay. This is Rillaboom. It's a gorilla. I, th I thought you might like it because of the hair. I do like it. Fit, fit right in with your whole Tarzan aesthetic. My gut's saying he's not real, though. And I couldn't tell you why I don't think he's real. He is real. <sighs> it's the most recent grass starter. Okay, okay. This is Zimp. It's a little, a little imp. That uh, it's start, its name starts with Z's because it puts people to sleep. See, this is another one that I think is too cute to be real. So you think it's not real? That's gonna be my guess. Yeah, it is not real. <laughs> okay, but it's super cute, right? Yeah, I love this one. Exploud. This one looks. He reminds me of a Pokemon that I can't identify because I don't know any Pokemon names. Uh, but he reminds me of one. So I'm gonna say he is real. He is indeed real. You might. You're probably thinking of Loudred. This one evolves from Loudred. Loudred's okay. really popular. Okay. This is Wicoot. It's a wicked coyote that's also like an old coot man. <laughs> I'm an old coot! Wicoot! Woo! Oh! That kind of old coot. <laughs> Based off your description, I'm gonna say he's not real. That is correct. <laughs> okay. This is Proboscis. <laughs> it's a bug with a proboscis and it's also a hacky sack. Please tell me he's not real. He's not real. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, Impidimp. It's a little Impid Imp. I feel like he's real, and I'll I'll explain that. I feel like as Pokemon is growing, they're going more and more into different areas of culture, and so maybe the Imp is the next area of culture they're going into. So I'll say he's real. 
That's absolutely right. <laughs> okay. The most recent two generations of Pokemon have been very focused in the area that they're based on. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the last generation was based on Hawaii, so like all of the Pokemon were tropical. Okay. The most recent one was based on England, so there's been a whole bunch of like imps. Like folklore? Imps, folklore. Okay. Uh, there's a gnoll. I don't know. Actually, Ooh, nice. so maybe this is Vaquamail. It's a uh, like a you know those water bugs that swim around. I always yes. forget what they're called. It's one of those, but it's also a cowboy sheriff. Those little water droplets on its hips, it goes whoosh with the water whip. Is that a thing in Pokemon that there's they're like part bug, part Western stereotype? <laughs> sure, that... I don't know about <laughs> that, but water starters. This is the final evolution of a water starter. Uh, okay. Water starters always have like a weapony theme nowadays. I mean, I want him to be real because he looks so cool, but I feel like he's not, because he's a, a bug cowboy. So I'm going to say he's not real. Because it's too cool? He's too cool. Yeah, he's too cool to be real. That is correct. <laughs> okay. Vita Squish. Oh, I want him to be real so bad. Uh, yes, he's real. Uh, again, with the folklore, maybe this is the Sasquatch folklore they're trying to go off of. So I'll say he's real. He is not real, but he is a okay. Sasquatch. Okay. This is Duosion. Duosion. Mm-hmm. Because it's got two brains, so it's a duo, and it's also fusion. <sighs> okay. Um, he's too cute to be real. He's too cute. Too cute to be real. Is he real? He is real. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is one of the very, the cute real ones. They always have cute ones. Okay. This is what? Delmize. But... Gosh. <laughs> it is a possessed anchor. The, the monster is actually the kelp. It's living kelp. And look, it makes like monster teeth shapes. It's living kelp on old, on old shipwreck pieces? On an old helm. Yes. On an old that, helm. That's why it's Delmize. No, it can't be. It's real. It, it's real? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news there. This is Pincurchin. It's a little sea urchin. He must, he must be real, because Pokemon, when it started, was mostly animals. Mostly based off of animals. Mm -hmm. I feel like he must be real. It is indeed real. Okay. <laughs> I love the little mustache. They're super cute. Yeah. This is Zara Aura. Oh, man. This this could really go either way because I've seen some Pokemon that look like this. I can't tell you what they're called. My gut is saying that he's real, though. That is correct. <laughs> okay. It's a very recent mythical. He had a movie about him very recently, actually. Oh, okay. I say recent, it's like five years ago by this point. This is Duraludon. It's like a big metal kaiju. This is like, like frost punk Pokemon. <laughs> um, it's also like he's a Zippo too, lighter. Yeah, yeah. I think he's too sci-fi to be a Pokemon. That's a valid point. What, what is he? He is a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Dang it. He's okay. the uh, rival of Tyranitar, which is the like Godzilla-inspired Pokemon. Yeah. So this is like the Mecha Godzilla equivalent. Okay. Beat 'em ups. Beat 'em ups, but it end. It's like beat as in bead because she fights with metallic beads, and the end of the name is Puma backwards. Please, please it's just Puma. tell me that it's not real, based off that name. <laughs> it's not real. Okay. <laughs> this is Galarian Darmanitan. This looks like uh, Princess Jasmine's dad. <laughs> If he lived in the Arctic Circle. That's a really good <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay. The other ape was... Was the other ape real? I forgot. I feel like he wasn't real. The gorilla? The gorilla. The gorilla was real. Oh. oh man. Um, I'll say he's real then. He is indeed real. Oh, okay, alright. This is Appleton. Appleton! Okay. <laughs> he ate so many apples that it started um, getting apple turnover traits. Uh, kids will actually eat the back straps off of it. Just part of him? Because they taste like apple turnovers. No. It's real. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is Golisopod. Okay. It's a samurai isopod. Okay. It's Goliath sized. Okay. Um, he looks kind of like a rust monster, actually, from D&D. From I don't know what that is. Put that on screen. <laughs> you could do the same thing for me, but with D&D monsters. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to say uh, that this Pokemon is not real. That is real. This is real. Okay. It is honestly one of the coolest recent Pokemon. Okay. He is very cool. This is Lorantis. You know how, um, you know what Orchid Mantises are? Yeah. This is that, but the other way around. It's an Orchid pretending to be a Mantis. <laughs> Instead of a mantis pretending to be an orchid. So it must be like a plant type. 
Yeah. Uh, yes. Completely grass type. Um, grass type. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like it is real. Is it real? It is indeed real. It is real, okay. It's a really cool concept, honestly. This is Perpetua. It's a like a Roswell alien, but it also makes the biohazard symbol because it's radiation. That's too, that's too much. That's too much of a mix. I feel like it can't be real. That is correct. <laughs> okay. This is Aromatis. It's a little perfume can-can dancer. A Pokemon can-can dancer? Yeah. I think that's too PG-13 for, for Pokemon. So you don't think it's real? I don't think it's real. It is indeed real. Oh, okay. It's from the region that's based on France. Okay. Which helps, yeah. it helps justify it. Yeah. It also has like a little Plague Doctor mask. It's super cute. Yeah, because Plague Doctor masks used to have the like perfuming stuff at the end. Oh, of in the nose. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. This is Ski Deer. <laughs> Can you figure out why it's named Ski Deer? Uh, I'm gonna take a wild guess. I'm going to say because it's a deer with skis on. I think you're onto something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I think this one is real. It is not real. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is Detrark. It's a potato battery that's also an earthworm. A potato battery earthworm? Mm -hmm. Again, that's too many. That's too much of a mix of, of things. It can't be real. It's not real. <laughs> okay. Pokemon are starting to mix things up a little more but, lately. But a potato and a battery and a worm? Mm. This is... This is a lot. This is Cayugas. Okay. It is a snail. Okay. You know those, how like the bottom of a snail is called a foot? Foot's at least the colloquial term. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah. This takes that and the cone snail aspect and like its front lips are like toes and the big toe shoots a harpoon. <sighs> you've, you've seen those sea snails that shoot harpoons. Yeah, oh. I don't want this to be real, but I, th and I like snails, but I feel like he is. Is he real? He's not real. <sighs> okay. This is Buzz Swole. <laughs> <laughs> what does Buzz Swole do? Uh, well, it's a mosquito. Uh, okay. But instead of sucking blood, because that's too gross and icky, uh, it sucks, like, life energy magic stuff out of other Pokemon and uses it to power its muscles. Okay. Um, I think mosquitoes are so hated that Nintendo would not make a mosquito Pokemon. I'm gonna say he's not real. Buzzswole is real. <laughs> I wanna know what went through their heads to decide, let's make a mosquito just a ripped dude. Yeah. Right? Like they were watching Beast Wars or something. And, what, what, uh, what makes it even better? <laughs> is, uh, it's an interdimensional Pokemon called an Ultra Beast. There's interdimensional Pokemon? Yeah, they started doing that now. What did, what, uh, actually, I don't even know what generation we're on right now. Uh, that, we're currently on generation eight. This is from generation seven, which was all about okay, like, so interdimensional travel. Fairly and recent, okay. So basically, it's an alien. It's not from Earth. It's from a planet that's full of things like these, but thankfully that's not Earth and we don't have to see it ever again. This is... <laughs> this is Sandaconda. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's... The, <laughs> yeah, the, the name gets it across pretty well. <laughs> and he wraps himself up in... Yeah, that his... way it can, like, spring itself, and it, like, you know, like a... Yeah. Uh, pinball machine <laughs> ball launcher. Okay. It does that, and then it shoots sand out of its nose. He's real. He is real. He's real, okay. This is Passimian. It's a rugby playing lemur. And it's got like a melon on its head. They naturally play rugby in the wild? Yeah, with melons and stuff. Okay. <laughs> um, my gut is telling me he's real. And it might just be because he's a lemur, and I like lemurs. But yeah, I'm gonna say he's real. He is real. <laughs> okay. This is Quailschen. Quailschen? It is a quail that questions everything in its bastion. Because quails, like, quails, they lay their nests in the ground. So, like, okay. so it, it's flying ground type, and it, like, digs and, like, will stay put. It's a very defensive bird. A quail that questions everything in its bastion. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Pokemon traditionally is, is geared towards kids. Yes. I feel like that's a lot for kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to say... Uh, quail Street is not real. That is correct. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is Staraptor. This... It's a raptor bird, and it's also a starling. Okay. And it's like got edgy, it goes with yeah. its hair and it's Yeah, stabs edgy things. for sure. Um, cool look though. I think he's too edgy for Pokemon. I'm gonna say he's not real. It is real. Dang <laughs> it. In fact, I think Ash <laughs> even had one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> This is Tamarost. It's a tamarin, which is the kind of monkey that it is. Yeah. And it likes to roast coffee beans with its hands. 
So he's a hipster monkey? Pretty much. <laughs> okay. Um, I like him a lot. Um, be just mainly because mainly he's wearing suspenders. <laughs> if I, I'm going to be honest. Um, but I feel like he can't be real. He's too, he's too human, I think, to be real. Yeah, it's not real. Uh, okay. Um, right. uh, this is Vespa Queen. Vespa Queen. That, oh. This is this is going into my like vague Pokemon memory, and so I feel like Vespa Queen might be real. Uh, I'm gonna I'll, I'll say Vespa Queen's real. That is correct. Okay. You're actually doing really good. <laughs> this is Noivern. Noivern. It is a wyvern that makes a lot of noise. Yes. Okay. Um. No way. <laughs> no, that can't. It is real. It, no. <laughs> okay. I actually love Noivern, the speaker ears. It gives it like that vampire bat gargoyle kind hey, of look. Okay, yeah. This is histamine. -y. Like histamines? Yeah. It, it like shakes and pollen goes out of its body everywhere. No. Uh, that's like again, that's like the word like the word bastion from before. Histamine? I feel like that's a lot. Well, it's not real. Okay. <laughs> this is Obstagoon. What? Obstagoon is a badger that's a uh, goon? Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it, it makes itself be an obstacle, that's why it's going like that. Ah, okay. So it's like, yeah, 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 I'm an obstacle, you can't get past me. No. Kiss reference, that can't be real. It is indeed real. No! <laughs> Dang it! And the, okay. uh, the lead singer from Kiss loves it. This is Machug. Machug, I think he's real. You remember the, like, ma the Machamp line of Pokemon from yes. Gen 1? Yes, so This he's... is a, a newer, alternate evolution. Okay, so he is real. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so I wasn't keeping track of any score, so that'll be on screen right now. <laughs> so you win. Oh, great. Yeah, you got more than 50% of them. Excellent. I think it's knowledge through osmosis. It's part of culture. Yeah, but uh, you, you win a prize. What's the prize? It's a badger skull. Ooh. It's not real, though. It's, uh, oh, okay, this got me too. <laughs> Artists and their ability to make fake things.